Hey, hello, good evening. Uh, today it's a Sunday, uh, the 16th of May 2022. Uh, I'm sitting in my room uh, having thoughts about uh, many, many things actually, but also uh, about the mind and philosophical questions. Um, yeah, how, how, how does the flow go within yourself? You know, I, I lost track that easily, you know, that like it's one on one in a way. <laughs> that's, that's pretty scary, pretty scary. Uh, so what I want to talk about, um, I've been busy with uh, publishing my new book. Uh, it isn't published yet, but it will be uh, in the upcoming week, actually. Uh, I have been reading uh, the book a couple of times, and um, it is getting better uh, with every time uh, I read it. So I hope that will go into the right direction then. So uh, who knows? It would be nice, of course, to win uh, this contest. Uh, I, I think it's interesting because it's philosophical, but also about the mind and the soul from someone who's delusional all the time. How does that work, you know? And what what is it that it makes, uh, yeah, weird interactions within myself that you're a psychotic and schizophrenic person? I'm trying to try it out, you know, to, to see the differences. And every time I have, a, like, conversations with my therapist, it turns out that I have a classical form of schizophrenia. And I think that's odd, because we are all universal in a way, you know. So I'm trying to explain myself by using myself as an example from someone who's lost it uh, for a bit. What is that makes it true reality you know like like fantasy all the time it really is difficult it really is the boxes of thought st stacking up on each other uh, you know what are the frames you know, in which you s perceive reality what is reality you know what is the boundary between your thoughts and feelings but also you know reality life uh, the past the future the present of course Life is really beautiful, but sometimes you get lost, <clears throat> and that 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 is tough. But anywho, uh, like I said, I'm uh, busy with my book. I, I hope it will turn out well because I also talk uh, in my book about my previous books, so it is a bit hand in hand, you know. So I think that's very interesting. Uh, it really is a bit of my diary, but also about the mind and the thoughts and things like that. And it makes more sense every time I read it again. And I think that's special. Yeah, that really is special. I've been trying to make a movie for an hour already. An hour ago I was uh, a bit unstable. Like, like I'm talking, but I couldn't find the inner core in a way. I, I was I, I, yeah, searching for it in a box. I, I don't know. When being drifted far from the shore, yeah, there's no cohesion in a way. <sighs> what are you talking about? You know, you're just hopping from one spot box to another box. And like I said, reality sense. What what is reality? You know, oh my god. I'm feeling at ease in a way. I I, I don't know what I want to talk about actually, but I, I do feel relaxed. You know, and in the past I was inside the psychosis all the time, turmoil. 24-7, that's really tough. And like committing suicide, you know, that's no joke. I, I think that if people are uh, the same uh, I was, that you can't commit suicide because it's that tough, you know. But I've learned about the afterlife and things like that and reincarnation. So I thought to myself, you know, I, I never wanted to do uh, commit suicide, but I had some thoughts about it, you know. What if? What if? And I couldn't. There, there was not one single way uh, for me to commit suicide, actually. Although I was really off track all the time. Really, really big time. So then I thought to myself, you know, if I would do that, it would be even become worse than the state I am in at the moment. 
And then I started to taking my medicines and going to therapy and things like that. Oh, even though it took me many, many years to come where I am at the moment. It's, ex it's, it's strange to explain. The boxes of thought, you know, it's really intense. Sometimes you're seeing images passing by, sometimes you have a thought or a feeling. But when being in these things too much, yeah, you don't know what you're, th what you're talking and thinking and feeling about, you know, it's like an emptiness in, in, in eternity and in sorrow and sadness. And that's strange and that's odd. So you need to learn reality all over again, like I said. But yeah. Also in feelings, you know. What is it to relax, for instance? If you don't know what that is, you probably don't do that. <laughs> but, you know, taking some time off for yourself and to get back on track again, that's really um, yeah, necessary. And I, I, I like to read my book again. It, it, was, uh, it was nice. The New Milestone Vlogs. Uh, you know, a bit from everything, a bit from my diary, a bit from my from the mind, philosophical questions, like I, I said. It, yeah, I'm I'm glad to be alive and to to learn about the afterlife. You know, but also like traveling from planet to planet. I'm seriously about that. You know, it's no joke. Your soul, this energy, will be attracted to new planets in the universe with your twin soul. I mean, that's really magnificent. It's really beautiful. Seven cosmic degrees. You know. And we come and go from planet to planet. And we've been here on the Earth for quite some time now because we moved from the, from the afterlife to Earth again. But for many people to think about it, it's like this life is everything you have, everything you are. And that's simply not true. So you look from this point of view towards the afterlife. But in a way, it's actually the other way around. You came from the afterlife first to the Earth eventually. And then back and forth, back and forth, back and forth again. I mean, that's really amazing. You know, we forgot about it, but eventually you, we will learn about it all over again. Uh, and I think that's really beautiful. The teachings from Joseph Ruloff. Mm, very beautiful. Not many people know him at the moment, but they will in the future. And uh, I'm a part of that. I'm very enthusiastic about it. I really believe in his work. And uh, it's also called the University of Christ. And he wrote more than 27 books about it. You know, he could travel there. And he talked about his stories when he went there. And that it is for every single one of us, you know. So then you start to learn yeah, different point of views about life. You know, what is one life? You know, one life is ma massive, magnificent. But you had and have many, 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 many more. So there's always a way out in, in universal love. And that's also what I talk about quite often. You know, yeah, universal love, that's all there is. And, and if you let that more into your life, you will feel better. And that's also really a great, great feeling. Because you will be looking after the spheres of light. You know, you're trying to look at the sphere where you're in and the sphere where you want to go to. In universal love, you know. So you can let go of many, many things that aren't really necessary to think about in, in life. We're all the same, you know. We're all brothers and sisters. Only the one person is a bit further... Uh, yeah, that's what I read in my book. It's like you're on a train and it are different stations. But you will come to that certain station and you will see that station and you will learn about it. <clears throat> um, so it is not that it doesn't happen. It will happen 100% sure that we will learn about the afterlife and reincarnation and traveling from planet to planet. These are the main uh, things actually um, we need to know, you know. And then you will change from the inside because if you're good in this life, you will get the rewards for that in the next life. If you do bad things in this life, 
You have to make good for that. But eventually, we can only go higher. You know, we can only go to the highest spheres of the afterlife. So it doesn't really matter in a way uh, if you do bad things. It, 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 it hurts, you know, because you have to make good for that. The feelings you have is also the feelings your brother and sisters have. You know, so do the best you can do to make that flourish in a way. And that's something you will get back in future lives as well. And that's really beautiful, you know, doing good, being good for each and every one of us and making heaven on earth. I, I do realize that heaven is the highest there is and the highest sphere will go eventually to another planet you know, even higher in spiritual awareness. But we can make it a little bit of heaven on earth. <laughs> that wouldn't be a bad thing. Yeah, we all will grow higher eventually. And that's beautiful. I, I mean, within two or three lives, you know, we will change massively. The age of Christ, it is also being called. And I think it's really beautiful. Uh, I, I really do. So I'm trying to be good as far as I can do that, of course, and uh, letting go of my psychosis from past lives. I had good lives, I had bad lives, and I think you will make good for your past lives um, in the sphere where you belong to, so that you can cope with it, so that you have something intense, a really bad interaction, and then you come in the afterlife in the higher sphere, and then you can let go of that, what this past, Something like that. Uh, and what what is past that is past, and you will grow higher in spiritual awareness, universal love from the inside and the outside, and then going higher and higher. You know, beautiful. It it really is beautiful. So, um, yeah. What do I want to say? I will continue with uh, making vlogs, of course. Maybe a new one, a new series, a new name. So I, I, I really hope that my book will do something with the contest. Because if it would do something, then everything I do on the internet goes hand in hand with it. And I think that's really beautiful. So I don't have to do anything. Because I put all my vlogs online. Uh, I put all my art artwork online on uh, OpenSea, for instance, with NFTs, but also on Instagram, of course, for people who want uh, to follow me. And uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It is going into the right direction. So, alrighty, it's nearly thirty minutes. Um, I would say have a really, really great day and week, of course. Uh, I'll be back. Um, I will let you know when I've published published my uh, latest uh, book, and I like I said I really hope it will do something. Uh, you can win a prize of two thousand, no, twenty thousand pounds, but the more thing for me is that you will be promoted on all of the Amazon sites with your book. I think that's really cool and amazing. It's about me, you know, so I can't go wrong actually. Like I said, philosophical questions, but also the diary and the part of my insight to explain myself. So, anywho, uh, I'm rambling on. Uh, I would say have a really, really great week, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.